Hello everybody, I'm back and I'm on Illuminator. I'm out in the Firat and I'm waiting for the bouncer to show up. Work's been pretty busy. So this camp, oh, there he is, bouncer heard. This camp is perfect for me. It's very chill. These guys are blue. And so work, it's been really crazy and that's why I've been not been playing for four days. Yeah, it's been about four days. Oh my gosh, look at my life. Why is my life, how did my life get so low? My life must have been low when I started out. I have protection of the glade, so I think I'll be okay. But I just logged in. I didn't pay attention to my health. Guys, I haven't put a video in like two days and I haven't replied to comments, so. If anybody's made a comment and wondering what's happened to me, well, work has happened and it's been so busy for me. Bouncer Herd is giving me a run for my money. He is such a beefy dude, a rotund ogre, and he hits hard like a ton of bricks. So I'll pick these up and I'm gonna take them straight to the vendor. Actually, let's just hang on to them. After two kills, we'll run to the vendor, but this gives us opportunity to use a bind wound and raise our skills. Hopefully we can see how high our skills at. Otherwise, we can just do this. What is bind wound? It's 189. That's pretty good. <laughs> and. I know when you get to a certain level range, you can heal all the way up to 70% of your life. So don't sneeze, or don't sleep, <laughs> sneeze. Don't sleep on Bind Wound. Oh, it feels so good to get back on the game. I've been sick with battling an upper respiratory infection. I actually got tested for COVID and flu, but they came back negative. But I had headaches, fevers, chills post nasal drip a little bit of ear fluid actually sinus pressure chronic cough nasty yellow mucus so I think it's just a viral sinus thing and it's been clearing up a little bit I actually took one day off of work a couple days ago I showed up to work and then like an hour into the shift, I'm like, I need to go. And just left. Today, hung out with coworkers. All right, we're almost at 50% alive. Ooh, one more bandage. Hung out with coworkers, I had lunch, good times. We made the introverts table. <laughs> Me and my friends are introverts and we all combined at a table. And when you combine introverts that are friends, oh man, we can get pretty social <laughs> so extroverted introverts see you guys when the next bouncer arrives I'm still waiting on the bouncer my health is up. oh good thing I stood up and turned around let's give him a good shuriken to the face there we go Excuse me, I'm drinking soda. So what are you guys up to in life? I realize a lot of people, when I was speaking with coworkers today, are going through a rough time in life. And just talking about it helps. What we do a lot is we compare ourselves to others. And that's one way that you can develop some sense of shame by not living up to the comparison you have for others. Wow, he is kicking my butt. I'll win, but these fights are all very challenging, so I enjoy this actually. Look at that, 153, I love these big hits. I was talking to one of the older attendings and he's always sharing job offer stuff 
and he gave a lot of good advice about negotiating contracts when you become, you know, and you finish your training days and you're ready to move on, take a job, really look at the contract. <laughs> Because they may say, oh, this is outpatient work. And then they slip in some weekend hospitalist duties. And then you're on the hook. You sign that contract. So don't just chase after those dollars. And honestly, all I want in life is a good work-life balance. If I can't play a request in a week, something's wrong in life. In this week, or if you say the last seven days, I haven't been able to log on to this game in over four days, and there's comments that I haven't replied to. Like four or five comments that are, you know, two, going on two days old, and I didn't reply on them. This is the first time since I created my YouTube channel that I haven't been able to reply to comments. So I'll do that right after I make this video. I want to put this video up, so I at least have something to upload tomorrow, because like I say all the time, this is my hobby. Let's check and see how we are with food. And we are good with food. I want to buy one extra stack of bandages if he sells them. He doesn't look like he sells them. There's other vendors over here. Oh my gosh. Oh, dubious. <laughs> I just saw wipe the floor with you and I was like, please don't. <laughs> all right. These will sell. Oh, they don't want to sell to me. So it looks like we can't buy bandages here. That's okay. That means we better get back. We better start sitting down and using that XR regen because these guys, man, they really tear you apart in between fights. You need plenty of time for regenerating health. Last time I was here, there's a newbie fighting this camp. This is the, always the camp I use when I'm a noob. And you sit right there along the water. Nothing goes along the water. Except for maybe an alligator. <laughs> I don't know. One of those green blood zombies. You have to watch out for those guys too. But this is how fast I swim. I have I have almost maxed out swimming skill. Look at that. It's like I'm gliding on the water. And there's the pillar. And there's where Bouncer Herb does his circuit. So I'll see you guys whenever he arrives. I need to go sit over here and regenerate my health. Oh yeah, I left a mug on him. And it's got a minor healing effect. Let's put it on and use it. Check it out. Is it really just a minor heal? Oh, you don't even have to equip it, do you? Let's just try it. Target myself and... <laughs> and it's got one charge. Wait, can you use it again? It's out of charges. I'm destroying it. I'm going to sit down. Someone just ran along that. I saw a light source. Salute it. Click it. Destroy it. See you guys soon. He's back. Okay. Oh, yeah, he saw me. Let's go. Oh, no. Damn, don't hit me so much. So, I'm attacking myself. Dang it. I wasn't able to um so he he comes back before you have a chance to get men ready again so once my protection of the glade runs out as far as my buffs go i might actually have to forego one of his spawn circuits and uh, regenerate men to have mend ready on top of having full life we need mend um, because it's close fight and i'm I'm only making it because I have the protection of the glade at the moment. So, next level will be much safer. We'll do better once we gain one more level. But this is getting close. Wow. 253 damage with a double hit. And it's very good that he runs when he gets low life. Let's see, I'm at 34% experience. And it gave me 2% of them at 36. Man, this money is so good. And look, we're going to loot this thing. Here, let's put this in these bags. And let's check our life. So we loot this. I'm going to click it. And we're at 490 life. 480. 
and it gives me nine points of life and then I destroy it. Is that worth it? I don't know. Anyways, let's bandage up and I'll see you guys really soon. I mean, I think we'll get to at least, we'll get to close to half of the way through the level. It's 12.35. I think I could do a couple more rounds of Bouncer Herd. And then let's check to see if anybody, there's a level 37 player. I'm sure he's fighting the Reapers or the Scepters. And, uh, but I'm sure with just one player over there, there's openings. So there's also a level 48 player. I don't think he's over there. But once I get to level 40, I think I can go down to lower guck. If this becomes too boring, next option is to go fight the scepters again. And then after that, we can go into Kazakh Thul. People warn me that Kazakh Thul's mm, kind of risky, but we'll give it we'll give it one try and judge from there whether we should continue on with it. Alright guys. Time to sit down. And then I'll see you guys when Bouncer Herd returns. Okay, guys. I <laughs> see the Bouncer just... He's like, hello. Let's give him a ranged attack. Come back over here. Smash me down this way. Alright. <laughs> see Crush, Crush, Crush? Lots of... Uh, Unanswered damage. He better hit me back. There he goes. So I actually do more damage than he does. That's what I love about two-hand weapons. I love the big damage. Just the way I prefer to fight. Even if the one-handers are more effective. At this moment, I like the two-hander. Especially with this haste item. I swing fast enough. And then I have a decent flying kick special attack. Just the, the tempo of the fight is just right for me. I'm doing well in this fight. Of course he's blue. He start running very soon. There we go. Look at that big damage. I love this. So after two fights, every two fights I run down and sell to the vendor. I'm gonna be rich in no time. And there's another, there's actually two bouncers you can fight. So if you run across the water, there's bouncer flurb as well. And but you would you'd have to be really active and run from one spot to the next. And this moment, I need to have downtime between fights. So um, mend will be ready. So even though I'm not regenerating health by sitting still, I do have mend popping ready. And I actually did really good on that fight, unlike the previous couple of versions. So, 38% life, I mean experience. So we need to go straight up this way and this will take us right to the vendor. This is like where I like to hang out as a newbie. You start out as a baby ogre. And if I check the zone, there's actually no newbies leveling up at the moment. No newbies. Usually there's a few, but the population is really low right now. Um, just because of the time of the day, I think. It's, you know, coming close to 1 a.m. American time. Central time zone. All right. <laughs> this is such good money. And where's the bag with my other stuff? There you go. The mallets are heavy. And, of course, the shields are heavy. And, yeah, we're getting rich. Used mend. And we'll go sit down. Protection of the Glade is the only buff I have left. That's a good one though. So I know my way around this zone pretty well. I just have to have a few landmarks. Usually just knowing where the road is. And let's see, if we kill some of these lizard men, can I gain faction with these ogre people? No, you don't gain faction, you only lose faction. I don't like that. I don't like when you can't gain faction. I mean, the ogre should love me a little more, and the troll should love me a little more for ridding their lands of lizardmen's, but they don't. You only lose faction with the lizard people. So I'll just come back over here and sit down. I think I'll do two more kills, and then I'll call it a night. It's going to be a short video. 
<laughs> like, what is that? A balancer? No, it's a piranha. I would... There was a movie back in the... I think it was the 80s. I was really young. And there's this movie that came on TV back when they played Saturday morning karate films. Or kung fu. Saturday morning kung fu. And there was a horror movie about piranhas. I remember watching it. <laughs> piranhas were in the water. And people, the teens were all splashing around and that really got me scared of piranhas for a long time. And I realized they don't really do that. <laughs> like fish will attack you, you jump in the water and they just devour you. That doesn't happen. But that was a scary movie. And then there was a course Jaws that makes, I'm always scared of sharks. I'm still scared of sharks to this day. And I think the animal that scares me the most is bears. And I'm always afraid that I'll be out hiking in the woods and a grizzly bear would come after me. And then the other thing that's very possible could happen is you're out there hiking and a rabbit animal starts following you. Um, even if they're small, I just start getting afraid I'd get bit by a rabbit animal. So always carry some kind of protection, but in them ra rabbit animals are the worst. Like a rabbit bobcat or cougar, whatever you call them. Mountain lion. I think we call them mountain lions. Okay, guys, two more fights. I'll see you soon. I'm full life. I'm waiting for men to be ready. And we're going to whoop up on Bouncer Herd a couple more times. This is a great camp. And they call them, like, I think Classic EverQuest called them uh, dad camps or something like that. And it's like, yeah, you could do this. And I could go AFK for a few minutes and vacuum the floor help out and do things around the house and come back and you're ready to fight so it's very chill very safe and it's predictable all right there he is and i gotta say in the downtime i played wordle and i got it on the first try <laughs> that happened to me this is the second time it's happened to me and the only reason it works is because your starting word is the answer <laughs> And I think it's a popular starting word too, so uh, I got Wordle on the first try. That was makes me feel good. Oh man, I'm losing. I am losing this fight. Bouncer Herd. He is a blue guy, of course. I think there might be some level variation that would explain why some of the fights are really close. Oh, men became active. Let's use it right now. It's the first fight where I had Mind at my disposal. It was definitely needed. <clears throat> so I am doing something very bad too. What I try to do before bedtime is I try to train my bladder. I don't drink stuff right before bedtime because you have to wake up in the middle of the night, have interrupted sleep just to go to the bathroom. However, I always drink something when I'm playing EverQuest. I have like a, like a soft drink. Because I enjoy soft drinks when I play EverQuest. So, now I'm going to wake up in the middle of the night and have to go to the bathroom because I drink a whole 16, 17 ounce soft drink. Ooh, two-handers. Well, guys, I'm at 40% experience. That's good. We're just flying through these levels. I better put these in my bags to reduce the weight. Check how much weight reduces. So our weight is 45. Now it goes to 42. And then we put this in the bag too. And now our weight is 41. So we decreased our weight by four stone just by using these weight reduction bags. Always have them on hand. We should even put this in there. Oh, it didn't change, but. The only thing you shouldn't have in there is your light source, I think. And by the way, guys, if my voice sounds a little different, it's because I've been having a sinus infection. I think I have swollen, you know, uh, what's it called? The larynx. Okay, guys, I think that's going to do it. This is going to be a super short video. I don't upload videos this short, usually longer than 20 minutes. And if I didn't have to work tomorrow, I'd probably make another video. I can't decide which class I want to play next. I was almost... It was between this one and getting on that Druid and Feel the Bone because I just love Feel the Bone as a zone. It's a great zone. You know, I, I, 
early on in my playthrough for this guy here, I was leveling up in Field of Bone and I complained about Field of Bone a lot because it was a rough start when you create an Ixar monk and you're solo cell found, you're soloing for one thing and you're fighting without good gear. So every fight is a challenge even if they're blue cons and it was just a rough time. But I think if I was to restart an Ixar monk, I would definitely group and fill the bone would be such a fun time. But guys, thanks for watching this video. I'll put up another video soon. I work tomorrow from 5 to midnight, so it's unlikely I'll produce another video. So maybe on Saturday we'll make another video. I'll be off and we'll play. And I want to work on lots of characters. So anyways, I'm yakking. It's just good to get back on and it's fun to talk into the mic and interact with all you guys. So I'm going to go to bed and answer some of the comments. And I want to thank everybody for supporting my channel. It's been well over a year. I think I'm going on a year and a half of making this channel. It's been steady growth. And I've done nothing but play a request. And I have no plans of changing it anytime soon. Have a great weekend.